It is time to install our floors. And I just wanted to tell you why we ended up picking Nucor over the other existing products. It is waterproof, scratch proof, dent proof. Those were the top qualities we were in love with. But then it's actually quick and easy installation. It has a cork back, so you don't have to do an underlayment. It pretty much goes over any existing floors and it should be a really quick process for us. So we cannot wait to get started and hopefully be done with this room later today. The last colorful carpet is finally getting removed. We find it easiest if you actually just cut it down the middle and then that way you can roll it into different sections. The carpet removal was going smooth. We pre-removed all the staples around the room so we thought this was going to be a really easy cleanup and we were just going to get started laying the floors but we forgot that the padding is also held down by staples so now we have to do a little more prep work we're going to go around the room remove all the staples make sure they're all removed and then we're going to get started We have got the floors all clean of debris and now we're gonna sweep them up to make sure they're extra clean. We decided we wanna start in this corner. So it really should be as simple as laying your first pieces, making sure your gap is right, and then just moving on. And to hold it in place, we're just gonna put a little screw so it doesn't push under the wall. And then when the room's done, we'll remove this. And then put one right down here on this side. And now our first piece can't be pushed back or pretty much pinned in the spot when you're pressing all these next ones on it. Yeah. 
We are at the end of the first row. So I'm getting a measurement, which is 21 and 1 eighth. I need to keep this side of the board to lock in. So I'm gonna take my measurement, put it on here. And then we got pretty lucky. We only have one odd cut around the vent here and on the other side of the room. So it should be fairly easy. We'll cut it. Then we'll hold it and add the pencil marks to cut for around the vent. And then we'll be able to lay our second row, third row, fourth row without any interruption. to make the lines for around the vent. So you pretty much lock it into place. Make your pencil mark here and there. It comes two inches off the wall. And then you're gonna square this out and cut that out with your jigsaw. Tips we learned along the way that really helped during installation is a paintbrush. We use it to get all the extra debris out, especially along the seam you're about to connect. We like to press it in, then down. Make sure your front is lined up. And then you'll use your mallet Like one, two, three in a row. So if we have a seam here. 
here, then here, then here, then we jump here, then our next one's back here. So I think we're gonna do a four row pattern. Start with a full piece. Start with a 20 and a half inch piece. Oh no, we need to go a little heavier because then it'll be short down there. So go 20. Yeah, so go 21 and a half.
It has been about two hours since we started and we just passed the halfway point. It is a little bit of a break time. We're gonna take a breather, switch the camera angle around and then we probably have about 15 rows left. We already started laying cardboard out so we can walk across it. All in all, it has been very, very easy to click together. Um, more than anything else, I'd say the installation has been very smooth so far.
hammer it and it'll suck it in as tight as it needs to be. Last measurement. Last measurement for you. You've got eight and three fourths heavy. Eight and three fourths heavy. Oh, While I put this in, show there a little scrap here and there by the cutter. I want to see, show them how much waste we had from one room, which wasn't much, right there on the floor. See it? So we really mapped it out and didn't have much waste. We were able to use the extra on that side, on this side, and that'll save money in the long run. A dozen floors over the years, and I would probably say this was the easiest floor we've ever installed. Would you agree? Absolutely. Yeah, it was very simple. It looks great. It looks great. I'm so happy. We determined we wanted the middle piece to lay like this, so now we're cutting a piece that size to start our row. So now that we have it down to the size we need, now we need to rip it nice and skinny. And it goes like this. This is this corner. This is this corner. Now I can just flip it. Make the pencil marks. And then translate those marks to the front. Make my line for a cut. It's a little tighter squeeze on the wall over here. So kind of just set it into its spot. I use like a chisel to press it forward and give it that little extra ump if you can see this crack right here when you press this almost like locks it right into place and then it'll lay flat and your baseboard will hold it in We need our floor to come into the doorway just a little bit, and then we'll be leaving about a one inch gap for the transition strip. So we got those measurements, made our marks, and then all we need to do is attach the two lines for the mark. Now we know what is getting cut away and what part we're keeping to lock right into this door frame. All right, moment of truth. Let's see if my lines were right here. This one I can actually get a grip on and pull into spot. Oh, do you hear that click? That looks pretty good. All right, it looks like maybe one or two more pieces and we will be done. It is officially time to put the last piece in. And it's a little piece. to hold them in place, it is really important that you take them out. That'll allow your floor to expand and contract over time. They were just being used to hold it in spot while we were pushing against it. Now time for cleanup and we will get you guys a finished reveal photo.